We are at 15667 West Devonshire Avenue in Goodyear. This is in Palm Valley. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath home that's 2,807 square feet, built in 2007. It is approximately 7,611 square feet, and it's built by Greystone. A little bit different veneer than we've had in the past. This is a little bit more of a Mexican style Santa Fe look. The front has a portion of zero skate that feeds in with the neighbor's lawn. Double gates here for work purposes and there are sprinkler systems where the grass is at. I'm not sure if that okatia is doing very well. Looks like it might be dead. Definitely need some painting around the garage. It's starting to peel. We've got some good drainage for water. These would probably need to be repainted here as well as the front door. As far as this little area here, it looks like they've laid out some brick, but it, it doesn't look like it's going to stay. It's not permanently in place. This screen here is a sunscreen. Uh, there is a screen behind it that's ripped, I've noticed from the inside. I don't believe these pots convey Little, it could be a little patio area if it were filled in or just rocked. And then this entrance here seems to be fine up in the ceiling. No issues I can see. The door just needs to be repainted and maybe patched right here. Basically it has a different lock than it used to. The doorbell needs to be replaced. And then it looks like this area right here has chipped a little bit. That might need to be filled in. Killing around the side as well um, when you do the door. Okay, as we walk in, this little area here is five by five. And the entrance carpet, in order for us to have the non-carpeted entrance through the kitchen, would definitely need to be replaced. Possibly laminate through here and here in, with a walkway to the kitchen and then possibly just carpet from here over or um, and in the family room in the further section unless we can factor in some wood laminate all the way through. Now this is quite a long room. I'm just going to take it from here and show you the whole room. The room is actually 14 by 30 and a half. So we've got the dining room here. There's no electric for a fan in the living room area. There's a fat fans going up in the bedroom. And there's some little architectural windows here, the fan, or excuse me, the um, blinds do work on this level. As so we go back here, there is a, a coat closet that's a little bit larger than normal, has a shelf with it. And then there's a powder room that has tile that matches the, the kitchen tile. And it is a little bit vaulted.
This is 5 by 410. The, the actual light fixture is fine. It has an oval mirror and a pedestal sink. So as we go into the family room, it's 19.9 by 22. This vertical works. These blinds work. There is surround sound set up. Got a little cutout here for this flat screen. There's a little niche back here for an office desk. And, and this is the kitchen. So the family room is adjoining the kitchen that's 15 by 18 and a half. Lots of nice cabinetry. Uh, the blinds work, the, the um, verticals have a couple of pieces missing and need a wand. And the island is nice because it has the sink actually built into it. The stove and micro microwave do not convey. The dishwasher stays, it's in good condition. And there is a pantry, there's a walk-in pantry. The wallpaper will need to be removed, so we'll have to factor in that cost. Um, and just a border on this side, so basically two walls. Now outside, we may or may not need to replace this door. I don't, I can't really tell if those are animal scratches or, um, for cleaning purposes, I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, if they're just dirty, it could just be cleaned. But uh, we might just want to factor it in just in case. Okay, so the back patio does have some wiring here. I'm not sure what it's for. I could ask. Looks like it's going around to light or to, it's feeding off of something. I'll find out what that is about. Okay, we've got, um, so this whole patio area here, we've got a fire, they call it a fire pit, but it's kind of like a little fireplace here. And curbing, this used to be a, a water um, feature and stream. The greenery is quite pretty around it, but I'm sure that will need to be filled in with just some rock, river rock or something. So they've got, this was an initially intended for a, a TV and it's not wired yet, they said, so that can come down the slide. I believe they are going to take that with them. And then this is a larger um, fire pit here. I'm not sure if they'll take the table or not. Neither here nor there, probably. Um, here's the other side to it. And they um, did say that this barbecue is going to go. This El Cotillo is doing so well. That's why I'm thinking the one up front is possibly not with us any longer. Now that light um, there is very likely stain. She's gonna check. So it has a little walkway here. Here's the other view of it. it has a little walkway here. Sorry, I just stepped in something. I have no idea what it was I just stepped in, but it's all over my toes. <laughs> Gross. All right, so I don't, I don't even know what this is. It has a light there, and it's probably just a seating area at some point. Maybe it could just be rocked in. Then it's got, this is the view from here that would have to be rocked in. Okay, so we've got something back here past the um, air conditioning units that looks like a water feature. So I'm not sure if that would need to come out. But this is the walkway of the rocks in the front. Okay, I'll take you back in through the garage. This green seems fine. 
Um, I think that's probably to that little water feature over here. There's these, they've got little brick areas here to, or stuccoed brick. Looks like some of this rock is really, actually really pretty. Oh, there's my shadow, that helps, huh? Okay, there you go. I guess this yard at one point was quite lovely. They, they said this was actually working. And unfortunately, situations kept things from moving forward. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take you through the garage. Here's the kitchen from here. The counters are in great shape. They're a, kind of a sculptured char charcoal look and the garage is painted dark it's gonna have to be primed and repainted and garage door works fine there's also a water heater here that looks like it's in fairly good condition she said they haven't had any problems with it at all So you can see this paint color is quite dark. It needs to be primed all the way around. And the, the flooring, I really can't tell whether it needs to be power washed, but possibly if you're doing the epoxy, that would be a nice thing to do in here. Okay, so put that back down. So we'll go upstairs. Here's that family room from here. Okay, we're going through through the dining room and living room and entry and the stairs are right here. Okay, so up the stairs, it goes right into the master bedroom. The cat's my buddy, he likes to hang out with me. Okay, this master bedroom is 14 by 15. And this is a view from out in the back, as far as neighbors. Nice big tree, mesquite tree. We've got a hole that needs to be repaired here in the wall. And the fan, this fan is the one that's going to be replaced with the one downstairs, so this goes. So the bedroom, 14 by 15 closet, is 9 by 5. Wallpaper in here is really pretty. Looks like it's in good condition. But if it needs to be removed, we need to factor that in. Lights need to be... Um, probably put in the package. And the sink, it's a tile sink. Seems to be in good condition. It's always really hard to tell underneath, but that one seems to be fine. The bathtub is a garden tub. And then we have a separate shower. Just needs a little attention. And then replace the our head. This is just the private bath. It does not have a light right now. And then we've got a linen closet. This wood is actually really pretty. So this whole master bath um, all the way around here is 9, 10 by 13 and a half. Oh, by the way, the medicine cabinet mirror needs to be filled in. It's a little bit longer than normal one. Okay. So then we go into a bedroom that has a separate bath. And this is 15 and a half by 14. 
this fan does not convey the closet is five by five and a half got a screen there that needs to go back on a window and this bathroom is five by six and a half the light fixture it's just standard and the sink is got a little bit nicer trim than most that we've seen lately seems to be in good condition doesn't have any major leak issues around the tub and actually the tub and shower is actually in really good good shape so through the bedroom into the hall with the master bedroom on the right and then this is another little area here that's kind of a little oops sorry about that it's not focusing okay there you go a little bit of an area that um, was used to bring out some architectural look I guess we can leave it or take it down okay we've got the bedroom without a fan here. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom and this particular bedroom is 10 by 11 9. I actually haven't checked this line so let me just check it really quick. Oh yeah that line works great. This is the neighbor um, to the south here. Looks like they take good care of their property and this is the Jack and Jill that this is a 5 by 5 um, section of Jack and Jill and you go into uh, this particular room where the restroom and the, and the um, bathtub is at. It's in good condition. We do have a little bit of patching right here that needs to be done on both sides that has been moved several times. So that's five by three and a half, and this is five and a half by four and a half. It's really hard to get a, a total look of the bathrooms with when they're angled off like this. Underneath it's fine. It's actually nice and clean. And the same look around the the sink, the sink's in good condition, the tile's in great condition. So just so you can see it from this angle here, we've got this goes right into um, the private restroom and tub, and then it goes right into the Jack and Jill on this side to the other bedroom. All right, so this particular bedroom is 12 by 12, and we need to replace a couple of doors in this room, and this, lot, this fan does not convey. There's the restroom. This is a door that needs to go, and this door, and then a patch right here. And so this fan does need to be replaced. So as far as outside, we basically have you know, the, I'll just do it from this angle. We've got this curved window here that doesn't have a treatment on it, but doesn't look like they use one either. Okay, so this house has a hall from here, and off the bedrooms is this laundry room. It's eight and a half by five. And that blind works great. And then this is a coat closet here. Oh, actually it's not. I'm guessing that's the heater. <laughs> this one's the coat closet. <laughs> And the wood railing is really pretty. Probably have to paint these doors here. But this is the view from 
upstairs to downstairs. Thank you for joining us on another video tour. We are Ron and Christina Wilczek, Metro Phoenix Homes. Feel free to give us a call at 480-445-9480 or see us on the web at metrophoenixhomes.com. Thanks and have a blessed day.